everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is your weekly update, semi-weekly update. I'm your friendly neighborhood director of secondary English language arts, Josh Flores, here in the Office of Instruction and Curriculum at the Oklahoma State Department of Education. Standards. We hit these two dates and now here's our next date. So as of Monday, February 1st, standards have been delivered and presented to legislators for their approval. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, I spent with our team and made ourselves available on the fourth floor in the Capitol building to just do follow-up clarifications or update every legislator that was interested who might have missed the presentation on Monday. They got a nice care package, a copy of the standards and the kind of the historical ancillary guide all the information they need to know that went into the work showing that we followed House Bill 3399. So now legislators have the standards and they have until March 23rd to make a decision to send them off for approval by our governor. And once approved in 2016-2017, we will that will be our transition year, the 2016-2017 school year. And this means, of course, that instruction can begin to align itself to the new standards. Meanwhile, state assessments will still be aligned to pass for operational items, field test items aligned to the new standards. 2017-2018, you can consider that the full implementation year that will not only have all instruction, instructional materials aligned to the standards, but also all state testing will be aligned. And of course, if you've seen the news, Superintendent is very uh, encouraging and supportive that the legislators should take their time to make a great decision and of course get any questions that they have clarified uh, by talking to teachers or talking to us and we can get them the information they need. Uh, she's good at that. Uh, I'm impatient. Like, I am so excited that we're at this point because now the fun begins. I guess that's a character flaw in me, my impatience. I'm really bad at even uh, hiding gifts for like Christmas time. I can't do it. I have to like, Ugh, here's a gift for no reason because I want you to have it. I, and uh, I think that's what the implementation is. It's like, it's a gift and it's another opportunity for us to get together and party and make some resources. And once they're approved, we can move forward with that implementation. But that's just me being impatient. I've stated this in my podcast. If you listened to it yesterday, it was released yesterday. I did a fantastic podcast with some of our future Oklahoma education leaders at Northwestern OSU with a professor Jennifer Oswald's class and two of her students and it was really exciting getting to share the standards to her students who asked really good questions a couple of them that I had not received before you know received all the same questions over and over again who was on the team were there teachers on the team did higher ed have a have a position on the writing team yes yes and yes yes they did and all that information is backed up on the State Department website you can see exactly who was on the team you can see their expertise their background their years of experience uh, yes you know phonics instruction is a big part yes I think these are more rigorous uh, than our previous year's standards. And yes, other people think that too. Other experts and organizations believe that as well. I did mention also on the podcast that um, has me concerned is that legislators don't feel rushed about it, and that's fine. But more so, I think it's important to note that I've heard from more than one of them that uh, told us, told our team, you know, no one from my district is contacting me about it. Yes, teachers are busy. <laughs> They're too busy to come to the Capitol and inform me about everything going on. Uh, but that being said, I don't know, I, I, I urge you to find someone or find a team and, and get a hold of your local representative and have them come in and maybe tell them your thoughts on the standards. Hopefully you've looked at them. Hopefully you were part of the process and submitted feedback. But take a good look at some of the great stuff that's in here now as a result of that feedback and help legislators understand, give them the right information that they need to know to make a decision on these standards. Uh, answer their questions for them on how that's going to affect your district too. Because they are interested in hearing about that, the, the standards from your point of view as well phone calls, emails, that's all tracked. They count them. They make sure like who's calling me, how many times are they calling me, and what are they calling me about. Also, we're I think in a lucky period where a lot of our legislators in Oklahoma especially are on social media. So you can actually go and be friends with them on Facebook and leave them a little message or send them a PM on Twitter as well. They're very active. We have a couple representatives that actually participate in Oklahoma Ed Chat. That's pretty cool. So that is my suggestion. They want to hear from you. Obviously, I'm telling you that explicitly. They told us that, that they want to hear from you. So reach out to them, let them know. 
give them some uh, tips and tidbits about what's going to be best for your district. Looking forward to this date. If you have any questions, I'm going to post a lot here. You can also go to the official SDE website. And of course, my contact information, as always, is here. I even had a text message from a, a friend in Wyandotte this morning to help with RSA. And it was, you know, it's cool that we can use technology to leverage and connect and be friends. I think that's it for this presentation. For more, if you want to go see the slides in the presentation that we did for the State Board and the Steering Committee, you can see those slides, remember, at this website here, elak.teachers.com slash new standards. And you can look at the video that's also posted on there, my last um, ELAOK report. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your students, and take care of each other. Bye.